Hello, my name is Abdul and today I'm going to be talking about the history behind the Oxford potato soup and who made it. The Incans had a big role in the creation of the Oxford potato soup because if it wasn't for them, the potato wouldn't even exist because 7,000 to 8,000 years ago, they engineered a plant called a potato to be more edible because back then it was it was a poisonous plant. So for example, North America and South America ha are known for having ferocious climate so the incans the native americans designed the potato to suit different types of climates so if you lived in the mountainside there was a potato for that if you lived in on the beach there was a potato for that if you lived in the tundra there was a potato for that if you lived um anywhere in lava you, there was a potato for that so the incans had a big role in the creation of the potato the Spanish were the first Europeans to bring the potato to Europe. However, it was Walter Riley who was born in 1552 and died in 1618 who took some potatoes to the UK. He brought the food in the year 1582 and it was introduced to the royal family and they had a banquet. But the chief, 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 huh, excuse me, the chef didn't know that the leaves were poisonous, which meant that the people who ate the potato were poisoned. Blech. In 1770, famine had hit the Europeans hard and the potato helped them out because it could be easily grown. Anton August Pamater, I don't know how to pronounce his name, forgive me, was born in 1737 and died in 1816. And during the Seven Year War, he made potato kitchens for the citizen, 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 citizens of France because there wasn't enough food to go around. These are the ingredients for the Oxford potato soup. A tablespoon of olive oil, two large potatoes peeled and diced, one large onion sliced, four medium leeks washed and sliced, three stalks of celery diced, one tablespoon of thyme, a litre of vegetable stock, and a tablespoon of parsley, chopped for presentation. This is the method for the Oxford potato soup. We're going to fry the leeks, the celery and the onion over a medium heat for five minutes. Add in the diced potatoes after five minutes and a time to get a little bit of browning and a little bit of colour on them. Next, we're going to stir in the starch, bringing it to a gentle simmer. Then we're going to cover it with some foil and cook it for 30 minutes until the veg is soft and you're able to put a fork through it with very little effort. We're going to blend it until it's smooth and if required, we can add more stock to thicken. We're later going to add salt and pepper to taste and serve in warm bowls with parsley over the top for presentation. You rock into a headshot production.
God. That is nice. I don't know if it's meant to uh, say anything. Maybe, maybe dipping some bread or something. Describe the texture. Not too thick, not too thin. Very nice. 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 Bread. It's kind of unsatisfying just me watching you eat. <laughs> watching you eat food. Out of ten. Eight. How come it eight? In case he hasn't eaten it yet. It's not formulating an opinion. You get an eight eating. It's an eight because he hasn't eaten it yet. <laughs> <laughs>